Hi, boys and girls. Miss Nestor here again, and I'm going to read another book. This one is called The Magic in a Year. I really am enjoying reading these to you guys. This one is by Frank Boylan. He's the author. The illustrator is Sally Garland, and this story is about a young girl who tells about all the unique things she loves about each month of the year. So as we read it, I want you guys to think about some of the things that you like to do during those times of the year. All right, let's start. Every year has months and seasons. I love each for different reasons. Turn the page and you will see what makes each month special to me. So as we read this, let's think about what we like about each month. January brings ice and snow. The winter chill makes my cheeks glow. How many of you like to build snowmen and play with snowballs? February has rain and ice. When that thaws out, it's always nice. March blows in with springtime breezes. Sometimes that gives me the sneezes. April's filled with warm rain showers. Nourishment for birds and flowers. And it's now April, so we're going to start seeing rainbows and birds chirping and flowers blooming. May burst forth with colorful blooms, brightening all of nature's rooms. June heats me up with its warm sun. Perfect for all my outdoor fun. How many of you boys and girls love to go swim in a pool or play outside? July's hot heat is really made for reading books while in the shade. Do you boys and girls like to read outside? If you've never tried it, this summer take a book out. Go and get comfortable and read under a tree or just lay down and read outside. August evenings feel really right on my porch swing beneath starlight. September paints leaves on the trees. I really love collecting these. How many of you guys like to collect leaves or make a big pile of them and jump in them? That's really fun. October's when the air cools down. I trick or treat around our town. How many of you like October with all the pumpkins and the jack-o'-lanterns? November has an autumn chill. I like to spend time outdoors still. November is when we like to eat lots of turkey with our family on Thanksgiving. How many of you like Thanksgiving? December's filled with snow and sleet, so I curl up and warm my feet. December is one of my favorite months. It's Christmas time. We get to put the tree up and we get to celebrate Christmas and there's usually some snow. Which one is your favorite month? I want you to think about that. Winter, summer, spring, or fall. I love something about them all. The months pass by but reappear to bring magic to every year. So think about what your favorite month is, what your favorite season is. And I'm going to finish with this poem, and it is called The Garden Year. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. March brings breezes loud and shrill, stirs the dancing daffodil. April brings the primrose sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. May brings flocks of pretty lambs skipping by their fleecy dams. June brings tulips, lilies, roses, fills the children's hands with posies. Hot July brings cooling showers, apricots, and gilly flowers. August brings the sheaves of corn, then the harvest home is born. Warm September brings the fruit, sportsmen then begin to shoot. Fresh October brings the pheasant, then to gather nuts is pleasant. Dull November brings the blast, then the leaves are whirling fast. Chill December brings the sleet, blazing fire, and Christmas treat. 
and that is written by Sarah Coleridge in 1834. So that's a beautiful poem about the many changes of the seasons and the months throughout the year. I hope you, didn't, you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to read with you face to face.